Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD. And as you guys know, July 29th is when Microsoft is going to be pushing out Windows 10 to many users for free. And I'm going to start pushing out a bunch of tips and tricks to get you guys up and running once the operating system is installed on your machine. So one of the tips that I'm going to show you guys today is how to disable the quick access in your file explorer. What do I mean? So when you click on this little folder, which is the file explorer, back then it used to be Windows Explorer. Click on this, it's going to take you into the quick access dialog box. And we don't want that. So let's click on it again. There it goes. It takes you to this. We're so used to seeing this. This is what I want to see. The folders, the devices, and drives, right? So the way to change it is let's go to file. Let's go into change folder and search options. And by default, open File Explorer to quick access. We don't want that. We want this PC. Also, if you go all the way to the bottom, there's a little nice little option that says show recently used files in quick access or showed frequently used folders in quick access. Recently, frequently. Hmm. This is really up to you if you guys want to uh, disable that. But I am going to just hit apply and press OK. This section right here on the recent files would get filled up. If you don't want that, you could just basically go again right back into change folders and search and just uh, disable show frequently used folders in the quick access so you won't get those folders popped up. And you're also able to clear the file explorer history as well. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, and that's it, guys. So let me apply. OK. Let me close this up. And let me open up our file explorer and it should take me to this PC. This is what we're so used to and accustomed to. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave your comments right below. Leave your comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. Like button. Because <laughs> it does support the video as well as this guy. And I catch you guys on the next Windows 10 tip.